Deb McGuire travels the world taking photos of pets and animals. Here's her latest report. We're in the middle of nowhere of Germany. This is the St. Johann Horse Farm in Germany. It's the oldest stud farm in the entire country, dating back 500 years. And I'm here to photograph horses. Horse breeding at Marbach goes back to the Middle Ages. The ruling duke soon realized the need to improve the quality of the local horse breeds. And in 1573, Marbach was elevated to the status of a court and state stud. Marbach is home to stallions of purebred Arabians, German warbloods, and black forest heavy horses. I've been told if you see a white one, chances are it's an Arabian with a bloodline dating back to the 1800s. Photographing horses in Germany was definitely a challenge compared to photographing dogs or cats in Hawaii. For starters, it was snowing, um, extremely cold outside. So my fingers were so numb I could barely feel the shutter button at times and my equipment was getting wet. It's also extremely slippery. I'm used to photographing on sand on the beaches here in Hawaii. In Germany, I was stepping through poop and snow and when it's mixed together, it's a bit slippery. The subjects were a lot different compared to the islands here. I'm used to a wet puppy dog kind of staying away from me, whereas these subjects, the horses, were really overly curious. They were checking out my equipment, breathing on it, steaming up the lenses, and nudging me while I was trying to get a shot and attempting to get into my camera bag, <laughs> which was kind of funny. Now, a plus of photographing horses when it's freezing cold outside is that they were breathing down my neck, keeping me warm, which I really appreciated. <laughs> Although Marbach has a lot of different types of horses, they're known for three very distinct types. The Arabian horses, the German warm bloods, and the black forest cold bloods. Now the Arabian horses came from Arabia, and they're, most, they're probably the most easily recognizable horse in the world, usually white, and one of the oldest breeds in the world. And the German warm bloods are used for dressage and for jumping and are good family horses. And then you have the black forest horses, the cold bloods, and they're kind of rare in the United States, but very common over in Europe, and they're used as work horses and pulling carts and such. Well, after shooting for two days straight in the cold temperatures of Germany, I learned a lot, and it was a really fun experience, but it's really nice to be home in Hawaii.